Happy Monday. It is so good to see you. I just got my shower. I feel all clean and squeaky and fresh and it's just a wonderful feeling. I love a good shower. There's nothing better than a nice long shower. Nobody's hurrying me to get out. I can get out whenever I'm ready to. Usually I get out when I start thinking about the gas bill from the water heater running nonstop from my shower. That's when it starts to bug me and I have to get out. I screwed up today. I screwed up today and I have felt like crap about it ever since. It was my, my day job. Um, I screwed up. I made a mistake. One thing about being a patent paralegal is you, you definitely have to pay attention to detail. You have to be very detail oriented. You can't just say you are. You cannot just say that you are good with tiny little details. You actually have to be because there are a million little things you can screw up with everything you have to do. You have to make sure every I is dotted, every T is crossed, every little thing is where it's supposed to be. There are a lot of ways you can mess up. Well, I messed up today and I, I every time I'm, I mess up, I could just get like this knot in my stomach and it just sits there all day and I feel, I just feel lousy the rest of the day. I have felt lousy ever since about lunchtime, which is when I discovered what I had done. And it was a, it was a, a type of filing that we do all the time. I have done hundreds of them over the last 15 years I've been doing this work, hundreds of them, and they're all the same. And the problem with things that are the same 99.9% .9 of the time is that you become complacent and you get lazy, which I had gotten lazy with this filing. You know, I'm going through like that, 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 that. Send it. It's good to go. Because all of the hundreds I've done before, it would have been fine. This one, though, had something different, which means that what I filed was wrong. And if I had taken a moment to go back and look at part of the filing, I would have seen it. But I didn't because I got lazy. It was 100% my fault. I should have caught it. I'm not making an excuse for myself because I, I should have caught it. So anyway, I do the filing. I send it to the attorney. Here you go. Here's your draft email to the client. Here's the filing. I've updated the docket. Blah. And he's so nice. I love the attorney I work with. He is such a nice person. He is so nice. He's Canadian. And y'all are so nice. You're nicer than Southerners, I swear. And he comes back and he goes, um, were we supposed to file this? Um, because I was thinking, um, actually we weren't. And that was his nice way of saying, what the hell did you do? Why did you do that? Because <laughs> he would never say that. So he comes back and says, I, I, I was under the impression that we didn't have to do that. And I stopped for a moment and I'm going, what do you mean? That's what we always do. He goes, oh no, because see, we changed this here, which means what you did was not necessary. Is that correct? Are you, am I right? I just, I, I may be wrong about that. And he's like, you know damn well you're not wrong. You've forgotten more about this work than I'll ever know. No, you're right. I screwed up. And then that pit just develops in my stomach and I'm just like, oh God, I screwed up. And sometimes the screw ups are very expensive to fix. Fortunately, this one, I'm not sure how it's going to work out yet, but fortunately with, with this kind of work, usually whatever you screw up, it can be fixed, except, you know, you get to a certain point, you can't really fix anything anymore. Once the patent issues, you're, you're, some things you still can fix, but it's insanely expensive to do it. Um, anyway, so I, I have felt like crap all day. It has affected my mood all day. I, I feel like a loser. I just, oh, and you know, he's, he's sitting there like, Mary, it's fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. You know, we all make mistakes and I have to give him credit. He is really the one who has helped me chill out a great deal over the last 15 years. He's so laid back. He doesn't really, it takes a lot to really get to him. And I'll get all wound up and worked up, worked up over things. And he would say, Mary, calm down. Everybody makes mistakes. It's, it's not the end of the world. We can fix it. It's okay. But I still feel like shit, you know? I still feel like crap. So I'm supposed to be off tomorrow. But Window World of the Triad, Richard from Window World of the Triad is supposed to come out here tomorrow and look at something. I don't know. I told him about the issue with the keypad. 
Yes, I'm still dealing with the door. Um, good news with the roof, though, is that I, I, got, I finally got a guy from a different company to come out here today, and he went up there and looked at it, and apparently it's just a little minor thing. Um, they're going to get back to me with an estimate. But he said, yeah, you, you, your roof looks great. It's just this one, it's one little area. It looks like the wind might have damaged it up there at the peak in this one spot. It's a real easy fix. So they're going to get back to me with an estimate, and I, I think I'm just going to have them do it because he said it's really, really quick. I'll, I'll be up and down 15 minutes. Your roof will be fixed. It won't leak anymore. So that's good. I was afraid I was going to find out there was some kind of serious damage that made my roof leak, and it hasn't leaked anymore. So that's good. But, uh, yeah, I just, I'm kind of down. Like, I'm going to do a video. I've got to get, I've got to get uh, kids going with bedtime stuff. But I'm, I'm going to get a video done. And I'm also in a bad mood because somehow I have like a little ulcer, like a little sore on the inside of my lip where I accidentally bit my lip. And so it's kind of swollen a little bit on the inside of my lip. And sometimes when I'm eating, I accidentally bite on it, which makes it worse. And it's, that's also kind of put me in a bad mood. I do find though, if you swish with warm salt water a couple times a day, it does help heal that faster. But it feels like it's about this big, like my lip is sticking out this far. <laughs> it's so awful. But yeah, I'm here to tell you that I, I know this is hard to believe, and I, but I hate to disabuse you of this notion, but I'm not actually perfect. Yeah, I, I, I really hate to have to break that to you on a Monday night, but I'm, I'm actually not perfect. And I screwed up today and I feel bad but whenever I screw up I always tell them I will I will do whatever it takes to fix it I, I, I'm on it I'm on it and if I discover I've made a mistake and I advise you to do this at work if you if you find out you screwed up don't try to hide it don't try to blame it on anybody else because eventually the truth will come out go ahead own up to it fess up to whoever you need to tell your supervisor or whoever go on and tell them but when you tell them Think about it ahead of time and think, okay, I made this mistake, but it can be fixed by doing this. So when you go tell them, you say, look, I just wanted to tell you, I, I made a mistake. Here's what I did. And here's what I'm now going to do to make it right and fix it. Because um, there is nothing worse than having to work with somebody that makes mistakes and blames it on other people. Or even worse, just doesn't tell anybody about it. And then it becomes a big problem later. Yeah, just fess up right away. Because... Yeah, I'd own up to it. Like I'd had, to, well, I, with my attorneys, like that was all me. That was 100% me. You're absolutely right. We were not supposed to do that. I screwed up and I am so sorry. And I called the examiner and I found out what we needed to do to fix it. And I relayed the information back to the attorney for him to decide what to do. So we're still working out what we want to do to handle it. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in touch with him again tomorrow. I might as well work in the morning because the window world guy is supposed to come by in the morning, so I can't go anywhere anyway. So I might as well just work on that some more tomorrow and try to get it sorted out. And I will feel better too. That's another good thing. Once I once we have a plan and we know what we're gonna do, I will feel better. And then I will do whatever he wants to do to fix it. Like I, I am here for it. I will do it. But yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave you with a view of these, I have the cutest little cats I have to show you. Look at these babies. The kittens downstairs, look at them. Pumpkin, you're falling off the bed. Are you alright? Pumpkin, you want a thing? You want something? Honky do. She always looks mad. You always look mad. Evie's just knocked out. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Give me her big old nose. <laughs> My older son and I were talking about her color pattern earlier. She, uh, I'm not petting your belly. You'll kill me. She tried really hard to be Siamese, but she's not. Um, her mother was a feral cat who didn't look anything like her. And all, she had several siblings that didn't make it. Um, she had one sibling that was a long-haired brown cat, like a solid brown, like a dark brown cat with long hair. Um, and the, the feral cat had kittens under this lady's house. And then one day, the mama cat went away and didn't come back. And they think something happened to her. 
the kittens were only about four weeks old at most, probably not even that old. And so the lady had to crawl up under the house to get Pumpkin and her siblings out. And unfortunately, a couple of them did not make it. They don't know how long they were under there with no sustenance or anything. But I took Pumpkin. She was so small, I could hold her in my hand. She was so tiny. If you go back on my other channel, go way back to 2017 or no, 2016. How long have I had you, cat? Gosh, it's been a while. 2016, I guess. Maybe October. Because I got her. Yeah, it was August of 2016. I got her. We got her from a, a shelter. And then Pumpkin I got in October. Because she was, um, not, she's not much older than Pumpkin. But she tried really hard to be Siamese. But she didn't quite make it. You tried, though. That's all that counts. She's very quiet. She just beeps occasionally. Here. Look at the color of her, the hair on her ears. It's so weird. And Evie, the older she gets, she just looks more and more faded. But she's the nicest cat we have. Evie is. Pumpkin can be a little bit of a jerk when she wants to be. So anyway, I'm a little down tonight, but I'll be all right. I'm going to get the right frame of mind. I'm going to get kids ready for bed. I'm going to get in a better frame of mind. And I'm going to get a video done. I can I had several I thought of doing, but I think I'm going to make one uh, rummaging through some cosmetics. My mother used to have this uh, container. It was like a cardboard box that she repurposed and put uh, shelf paper or something on it to make it pretty. And she put all of her little cosmetics down in there. And I love the sound of her digging through the cosmetics. And she would kind of sort of talk to herself a little bit while she was doing it. It was, oh, it was great. It was the tingliest thing back before ASMR had a name, and I loved it whenever she would dig through that thing looking for something. It's the best sound. So I'm going to try to do that tonight, and then I'm going to get some sleep and hope that tomorrow I can solve the problem and get this knot out of my stomach and feel better about myself. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. I hope your Monday was not too bad, and I will see you again really soon.